University of Pennsylvania, basically grew a tiny nose. They took cells from the nostrils of several healthy adults and grew them in an incubator for a few weeks until the cells had formed the same type of lining that's in your sinus, complete with cilia. Then, to mimic a sneeze, the scientists puffed air onto the lining. They noticed that the burst of air triggered the cilia to kick into high gear, moving back and forth repeatedly for up to several minutes after the trick sneeze. So why were they so active for so long? Any potential irritants would have been cleared out already. Well, the triggered cilia were acting as a broom, basically resetting the entire nasal environment, not just the parts where there had been irritating gum. Just like computers do, biologists think that our nose needs a reboot every once in a while, and its kind of furry restart button is made of all those cilia. But it turns out that not everybody sneezes actually reboot their nose. In addition to looking at healthy people's cells, this same group of scientists took a peek at the cells of people suffering from sinusitis, which causes inflamed sinuses and general nasal discomfort. Runny nose, nasal congestion, all that stuff. They discovered that when they puffed air onto the tissue of the sinusitis sufferers, the cilia didn't beat faster, meaning that chronic sinusitis might have to do with cilia that can't properly reset post sneeze, and that knowledge might help researchers develop treatments for it. Thanks for asking, and thanks especially to our patrons on Patreon who keep these answers coming. If you'd like to submit. Next one. Next one. Diaphragm, vocal cords, throat 
muscles clicking together correctly to create a perfect sneeze and send those irritating particles flying out of your nose along with air, water and mucus at nearly 100 miles per hour. Wow! Isn't it amazing, friends? But it's not just unwanted particles going into your nose that causes sneezing. There are other factors as well, like when you catch a cold or when a virus makes a temporary home inside your nose. Some people sneeze due to allergies or even getting exposed to certain things such as... What does it mean the word allergies? Allergies is hypersensitivity towards a substance. For example, when I say that I have allergies towards strawberry, so that means when I eat strawberry, I'm going to be itchy because I have allergies towards strawberry. Again, an allergy, where are you going? Juju, where are you going? Okay. As I said, guys, an allergy is hypersensitivity towards a substance. I have hypersensitivity towards any substance, so I have an allergy. Deal? So an allergy can make you sneeze because you have an allergy towards perfume. So whenever you smell a perfume, you're going to sneeze because of your allergies. Does animal dander or pollen? Whatever the reason may be, always remember that sneezing is one way that cold germs and flu viruses are spread around you. So, do not forget to use a tissue or sneeze into your inner elbow. Trivia time! Did you know some people sneeze when they step into the bright sunshine? Uh, this is very important. Some people can sneeze because of exposure to sunshine. If I am exposed to sunshine, maybe I'm going to sneeze. Let's know how. Yes, listen well and concentrate and we are going to know how or why some people are going to sneeze when they are exposed to the sunshine. Okay? Well, their nose isn't necessarily irritated and they're probably not allergic to the sun. Instead, they are a photic sneezer. Photic means light. Photic and some people have an unusual sensitivity to light that can trigger a sneeze. It is considered to be a genetic trait, which means if you're a photic sneezer, you inherited it from your parents. It's question time. Today's question is, what does photic mean? Do write your answer in the comment section below and hit the like and subscribe button okay. if you haven't yet. What does it mean? What does it mean the word photic? Light. Great job. The word photic means light. So some people are or some people have photic allergy, which is they are allergic to light. When they are exposed to light, they are going to sneeze. And it's something inherited from your parents. Genetic trait. You are, you are a photic. To be a part of the Peekaboo Kids Cutesy Mutesy family. And get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. Okay. So guys in your sheet, let's read our topic for today. I'm going to display it in the screen in order to be easier. Use it. I want you to start reading. Starting with the title, use it. Whenever we read, we have to start with the title, guys. At two, yes. At two, we, we all sneeze sometimes. Without your interference, it 
something automatic out of your control. You don't control this action. It's an automatic action. As you can see here, as I said, we have the first word here for our topic is the word sneeze. So, as I said, a sneeze is the make, to make a sudden expiration of breath through your nose and mouth. Achoo! So, it's a sign expiration of something inside your nose, using your nose and mouth. And as I said, you're going to shut your eyes and then you're going to sneeze in order to get rid of what is inside your body. Continue reading you, sir. Okay, um, that's me. That's me. Great job. Okay. Maria, could you please continue the rest of the talk, the, the passage? I want you to start from paragraph number two. <laughs> Inside your nose. Inside your nose, there are hundreds of uh, tiny hairs. What does it mean, the word tiny? Is small. Very small. Tiny means very small. Okay. Better. Breathe. 
Bother you. What does it mean the word bother? Yeah. Annoy. English. Bother means annoy. Or makes you feel uncomfortable. Bother it means it's going to annoy you. Bothering means annoying. Okay? Huh? Invading your body. What does it mean the word invading? Attacking. So your nose is going to send a signal to your brain telling your brain that there is something strange man invading your body. Get ready. Something is entering. So, yes. So the brain is going to send another signal to your nose in order to sneeze. So you are going to sneeze automatically without any control. Once it has started, you will never try or you will never stop your sneeze. Okay, Mala, start from the beginning till the end of the passage number two. From the beginning? No, from the beginning, from Achu. Your brain, lungs, nose, mouth, and 
I trigger you, it means I motivate you or I make you to do something. Sneezing, reflex, direct, sunlight. Usually, runs, yes, runs in families. Nearby, sneezes. Remember to tell them this is a German word. Who studies German here? Okay, can you read this? Yes, on high. Yes. No, it doesn't hide. Huh? Yes, it doesn't hide. Is like bless you, like Allah bless you, or like humble, humble Allah. Like this word in Arabic. Huh? Funny looking word, which is pronounced yes on high. It's the German word that wishes someone good health after sneezing. Okay, guys. Let's discuss together some of the words in this topic. Yes, you didn't read? Okay. Start from the beginning. We all sneeze sometimes. The, the third one, this one. 
which is the, the vocabulary list. This one. No. Turn again. Yes. Okay. Guys, we have the word filter, invaders, phenomenon, automatically, pollen, optic nerve, trigger, nasal, reflex, confuse. Let's start by reading all the meaning. Done. Unconsciously or spontaneously. Unconsciously and spontaneously without control. It's called? Great job. Automatically. So automatically is number A. So number four, A. Automatically it means done unconsciously or spontaneously. Number four, A. Okay? 4A. Finish? Okay, next one. Relating to the nose. Huh? Nasal. Relating to the nose? Nasal. Anything related to the nose? Nasal. So, nasal number 8B. Number 8B. Number 8B. Related to the nose is nasal. Finish? Okay, C. A nerve that senses messages between the eye and the brain. A nerve that sends messages between the eye and the brain. Optic nerve. Optic nerve. Optic means related to your eyes, man. Optic nerve is the nerve that sends messages between the eye and the brain. So it's going to be 6C. C. 6C. C. Optic nerve. 6C. C. Finish? Prevent unwanted material or debris from, bad, from passing through. Huh? No? Huh? Filter? Filter. To prevent unwanted things is to filter something. Filter? is going to be D. Filter is going to be D. 1D. 1D. Okay. Cause something to happen. I make you to, to do something or something. I cause something to happen. No. No. Trigger. Cause something to happen. Trigger. Trigger is to cause something to happen. Trigger. It means to motivate you or to make you do something. I trigger you. I trigger you. For example, if I am on diet, yeah, Yusuf, I am on diet and I need to lose some weight. And then, Yamar, you gave me a piece of cake. It's a yummy piece of cake. Eat it. Mmm, yummy. So you are triggering me to eat the cake. Although I am on diet, I can't eat sweets. But you are motivating me, you are triggering me to eat the cake. You got the point? So, cause something to happen, it means trigger. 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 Deal? Deal. Okay. So, trigger 7E. 7E. An action that occurs as a response to a stimulus or outside influence. Reflex. Reflex action. Great job, Hamza. Reflex action F. 9F. 9F. Finish? Okay. Unwanted or harmful things that came into a place when they don't belong. Bravo, the end. Invaders. People or something that enters or wet or go into a place where, where, where they don't belong. Invaders. So, invaders is going to be 2G. 2G. Finish? Yes. Okay. Unsure of how to respond. Bravo, Omar Sharif. Excellent. Unsure H is going to be 10. 10H. Confused, it means you are not sure. 10H. 10H. H. Finish? Yes. Okay. A powdery substance from the flower. Pollen. Great job. Great job, guys. A powdery.
Okay, look at the vocabulary that we are going to study. I made them into a PDF file in order to make it easier for you to study them. So, yes, for sure, dictation. It's not a question. Sure. Yes. Okay, the first word we have is the word sneeze. What does it mean, the word sneeze? To uh, make a sign, a inspiration of breath through your nose and mouth. Next one, reflex. It means automatic. A reflex action, it means an automatic action. Three, get red. It means free, to be free of. Get red of, it means you are going to be free of. Sensor. To remove, to remove unwanted, unwanted material. Great job. To filter something, it, move, it means you are going to remove the unwanted material. Pollen. Find substance that flowers produce. So these are the pollen guys. The pollen grains are powdery substance that the flower produce. And germs. Microbes. A germ is a microbe, as you can find, as you can see here. Yes, under the microscope. That is a germ. That is a bacteria. Okay. Lining. It means layer of different material that covers from inside. For example, this is my bag. Okay. So this is my bag. From inside my bag, the inside part or the, the inside material that covers my bag from inside is called lining. This part is called lining. And our nose is lined with tiny hair. Our nose is lined from inside with tiny hair. Okay? What's the finish? I know. I I'm not going to answer. Next one, we have the word capture. Yes, to capture something, it means to take or control by force. Allergic, hypersensitive towards a substance. Allergic, it means you are hypersensitive towards a substance. Okay, bother. Annoy someone. Bother, it means you annoy someone. Nasal. Related to nose. Nasal, it means related to nose. Invading. To enter a place with a force. To enter a place with a force, it means you are invading. Experience. Event or occurrence. Which means an impression. Like something happened to you, so this is your experience. Signals, sign, or electrical impulse. So that means when I say that the nose sends signals to the brain, that means it's going to send a message or sign or electric impulse to the, to the brain. <laughs> Signal is another word with the with the class of word as a verb. When I say I signal to you, it means I'm going to send the information as a gesture or sound. Come here, it's a signal. It's a signal. Don't do this, don't do this. This is a signal. Okay? Optic related to eyes. Optic is related to eyes. In here, optician, eyes doctor. Eyes doctor, this is the optician. Trigger, cause something to happen. To cause something to happen is to trigger. And that. So, these are the words that we are going to study well. These words are very, very important for your own knowledge. And I'm going to send you all the things on WhatsApp. Yeah. Thank you so Tom.